السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نبرش اللي صدري بس اللي يمضي وحل اللقطة من لساني قل خلي بزدني لما اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا جئت سهلا أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم I welcome you all to the class of those of the Arabic language and today we are starting lesson 21 so alhamdulillah 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 we have finished 20 lessons of Madina book 3 20 lessons of Madina book 3 alhamdulillah we have more 14 lessons inshallah to finish in Madina book 3 just 14 right and we are going to learn <clears throat> from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then the uh, Ba'i that is 4 letter verbs as well as istithna, mafulun mutlaq, mafulun lahu, mafulun ma'ahu, all these remaining topics which we will cover, inshallah, and nun thakhila, nun khafifa. So these will be covered in the next 14 lessons. And they are obviously important and uh, because he covers many things now. From now, he'll cover many things because we are at the uh, going to the end of the book. Uh, so he'll cover a lot of uh, grammar rules, you know, in one lesson, he might cover a lot. So let's begin, Bismillah, Form 6. What is Form 6? <clears throat> form 6 is taking Form 3, right? You take Fa'ala, this is Form 3, right? This is Form 1, of course. How do you make it into Form 3? Adding an Alif, Form 3. You add a, Then you add a Ta to this, Ta'fa'ala. Very simple. Tafa'ala is form six. So anytime you spot a ta and an alif, it is what? It is form six. Tafa'ala. Hmm? Tafa'ala, form six. Right? And the conjugation is similar. The master is tafa'ul. Like form five, the conjugation is similar. I mean, tafa'ala, tafa'ala. Tafa'altu, tafa'alna. Ya tafa'alu, ya tafa'alu. Like tasa'ala, for example. Tasa'ala, tasa'altu, tasa'alna. And uh, yatasa'alu. Can we quickly take all the forms till now? Uh, we learned form two, like darrasa or allama, allama to teach. And then form three, jahada. Form four, aslama <clears throat> or akrama. Form five, ta'allama. And now? From six, tasa'ala. Tasa'ala. From six. These are the forms you've taken till now. Alaykum salam to lahkat. Now, these are the forms we've taken till now. <clears throat> six. We have seven also left, uh, like in qalaba. And then eight, ijtahada. Nine, ihmarra. And then... <clears throat> then is istaghfara. Then we learn tarjama. This is murubai. These are what's coming up in the next lessons. Eh? Seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is rubai tarjama. <clears throat> okay. Hmm? So the the conjugation is similar. Masda is tafaul. Ismul fa'il is the same. Mutafa'il, mutafa'al, ismul maful, ismul zaman, wa makan. Same everything, whatever we've done for form five. I mean, nothing. And he has an exercise also for that, obviously, about all those things. Hmm? So let's begin the lesson. In this lesson, we are also learning about badal. Hmm? Inshallah, we'll explain when it comes the four types of badal. Right? Four types of badal. Addasul uh, Hadi Walishun, lesson number 21. And uh, what is this form used? We've, we've learned form two. Form two is used for mubalagha, right? You want to show some action which is done severely, eh? like kassara. It's called mubalagha or taksir. Or taksir. Taksir means you, you've done that action many times, right? So use form two for that. Yeah. And it's also used to make ta'diya. So form four is generally used, but you can use form two also. So form two is used for three things. Mubalagha, takthir, and ta'diya. <clears throat> Mubalagha means showing intensity. Takthir means doing the action again and again, a lot, kathra, right, many times. And ta'diya means to make a trans intransitive verb into transitive. 
and we learned from three uses of it. We didn't learn from three uses. We learned from four uses is only for ta'adiyah mostly, right? It's only for ta'adiyah mostly. That is, you make a transitive, intransitive to transitive from four uses. Hmm? From five also, we didn't learn any uses as such, right? Did we? I don't remember. From six, we are learning two uses, generally speaking. There could be more, of course, but there are two uses. One is mushalaka or ta'avun. You can say mushalaka uses some word, I don't remember. Mushadaka is when two people do the same thing. Um, two people do each other, right? Two people, uh, form three also shares that meaning, eh? like, qatala is to kill, but two people trying to kill each other is fighting. Qatala. So three and six have that same meaning. Eh? You need two or more people doing that action. Like, sa'ala is to ask. The sa'ala is ask each other, right? So, amma tatasa'aluna ya ikhwan. What are you asking each other, O oh brothers? Because tasala has this meaning of mushalaka, you know, two people doing or multiple people doing. Uh, so amma yatasa aluna. What are they asking each other? Where did that each other come from? It came from the form six, yeah. And the other use of form six is what is acting tadahar is to act, right? So bakia is to cry, right? Bakaya baki. Bakaya he is to cry. So someone who's acting tabaka. Right? Why are you acting? Right? Marida is to fall sick. Someone is acting to fall sick. Tamarada. Right? So these two forms, I mean, form six is used for these two things. Right? Um, because the alif, the alif is showing, you know, cooperation. And uh, and another meaning is for acting. It's called tadahara. Idhadu malay safihi. That is some showing something which is not in you. Right? That's called acting. Tadahara. Amma tatasa aluna ya ikhwanu. So where is the root letter for this? Which form is this? This is form six. The verb is what? Let's write it here. Tasa ala. Tasa ala. To ask each other. Right? To ask each. Other. Let's make it small. 24. Other. To ask each other. And this is the sa'ala. What's the root letter? Mm, very difficult now because so many letters, no? You have to find out three root letters. This cannot be the ta because this is antum, right? Ta is for the antum. This ta also you remove. Okay, seen could be. Right? Seen could be. This alif also you remove. Okay, Hamza. You do remove the wow and lam. So what is left? Seen, Hamza, and lam. Sa'ala, right? Sa'ala. That's how you chop everything. That's why helping, uh, knowing the forms is it helps you to do sa'ala. Yes, the root letter is sa'ala. So sa'ala, you want to make sa'ala. You want to make uh, form six. So tasa'ala. Tasa'ala. Why is the Hamza written separately? There are rules for that. Uh, because the Hamza for the middle letter is a little complicated when it is written alone, when it is written. It's just Tasa Allah. There's a rule for that. But here we are. Tasa Allah. So, Amma Tatasa Aluna. So, Yatasa Alu, Yatasa Alani. And the whole conjugation, right? Tatasa Alu, Tatasa Alani, Tatasa Aluna. You all. This vow noon is for you all. Antum. We are speaking to each other, or we are asking each other about the exam, how it will be. What is this doing here? What is this doing here? This is what we are learning in this lesson. This is called Badal. What? The whole sentence comes? Yes. We are talking about the exam. What about the exam? The timing of the exam? Um, who's gonna take the exam? Which subject? No, we are talking about how it will be. Hmm? So there are four types of badal. Why am I explaining it now? Because inshallah, we'll repeat it again. There's badal kul min kul. I'll, we'll just call it badal kul. When one word replaces the other word, like they are like twins. Right? Remember twins. So one twin can replace another twin, for example. Like like Ja'a Khuka. 
your brother came. Right? Which brother came? Hashimun. So Ahuka is totally replacing Hashim, right? I mean, you can use either of those words. This is called Badalkul Lal Milkul, right? This is called Badalkul. That means Badal means what? You this cannot be called an adjective, right? Hashim is not an adjective. You want to give more information about it, right? That, that's why you use badal. Uh, so you want to, when a noun replaces a noun, it is called the this word replacing noun is called badal, the replacement noun or whatever. The word which will be replaced is called mubdal minhu. Like imtihan is the mubdal minhu here, and this whole sentence. So a whole sentence can also be the badal. The whole sentence can also be. Badal. This is the first type of badal. Well, twins, right? Each word can replace another. But another there is badal uh, uh, They call it something else. Badal. Yeah. Badal baad milkul. Yeah. We can call it badal baad. They're not like twins, but like ba brothers, maybe. Yeah. Badal baad. Huh? Like I ate the chicken or hen. Akal to Dajaja. Dajaja. So, did you eat the full chicken? No, Nisfahu. So, this thing will show you not fully, but half of it. Right? Half, half. So, something which is part of it. Right? Not the whole body, you know, just the hand, just you know, something. So, it's called Baad, Badal Baad. But this doesn't come anywhere. Then the third is Badal Ishtimal. Comprehensive. Istemal, comprehensive badal. That means it's not the full of it. It's not a part of it. It's a feature of it. It's a quality of it. Like um, I like the book, right? Ajab Anil Kitabu. I like the book pleased me. What did it please? The writing or what? Uslubuhu. Its style, right? We are speaking about the exam. Is it about, about the part of the exam, the full of them? No. About this feature of it. How it will be. Like you want to use an adjective. Well, this is called ishtemal. So it's neither total. It's neither part of it. It's a feature of it. I mean, it's related to it. It could be something about it. I like. I, we were talking about the exam. It's date. Because date is not a part of the exam, right? It's about it. Right? It's, con it's related to it. It's Include, right? Something is included in it. And the last badal is easier. I mean, it's nothing. It's just a mistake. It's called badal mubayin or badal galat. Some people call it galat also. Uh, badal mubayin or galat. That call Hamid. I mean, Khalid. Right? So, I mean, so what's that two words coming up? This is called galat. That means I made a mistake. Right? Atini kitaban. Give me a book. Qalaman. Right. So, kitaban, khalaman. I mean, khalaman. I mean, give me a pen. Inshallah, he'll bring all these four types in the exercises. Right. I hope this is clear. So, something which is totally replaceable, kul min al kul, baad min al kul. It's some part of it. The f and it's neither a part or neither is or anything. It's just you know feature about it. It's called istimal. Like here, kaifa yakunu. Like Allah says in the Quran. Was that? Uh, don't they look? Don't they and Yanduruna Ilal Ibl Ilal Ibili? Don't they look at the camel? So, what should we look at the camel? Its head, its tails, what? You have to look at kaifa khuliqat. This is kaifa khuliqat is badal. Which badal? How it was created. So look at the whole creation of it. How it was created. While as samai kaifa rufiat. Right? Into the sky. How it was raised. Right? So this is the whole sentence completed, right? Don't they look at the camel? But what is this kaifa khuliqat doing there? This is badalul ishtimal. How it was created. So it will be badal number three. Yes. Badal number three. Correct. I mean, uh, instead of camel, you're bringing the whole kaifa khulihat because 
you want to talk about how it was created don't look at the camel like okay it has ears or eyes look at everything kayf khuliqat inshallah so this is called badal number 3 and that is badalul istimal what about that badal what about it istimal has a feature characteristics about it which badal hadal hadal kitabu that is kul no <clears throat> It's cool. Like Qadatu, oh, not Qadatu. Jaa hadha al-kitabu. Because you can say, uh, not Jaa, maybe use um, easy one. Hadha uh, al-baytu, hadha al-baytu fil hindi. Hadha al-baytu fil shahre. This house is in the street. Now you can remove either of those. It doesn't matter. You can say hadha fil shahri'i. This is in the street because you don't know what it is or you don't want to say its name or what. Hada fishari, that's allowed. This is in the street, or you can say albay tu fishari. You can replace either of those. You 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 didn't tell it this at that time. Yeah yeah, because this is the time, right? And maybe even I didn't understand them properly that time. You know, <clears throat> all these four types of badal. Yes, because we grow in knowledge. Yeah. Because next time I may teach Madina books in totally different way. The way I taught Madina book one, I'll not teach it again the same way. Yeah? <clears throat> okay. Because every time I teach, I teach something else. Even I don't know what I'll say. Asahlatun takunul asilatu am saabatun. Because it's not scripted. Asahlatun takunul asila. Sahlatun takunul asila. Well, this is Kana sister, right? This is the ism of it. And sahlatan is the khabar of it, but it came first. Khabar takunu because khabar kana or khabar takunu here is mansub. Hmm? It's not called mafulun bihi, no. Kana is called ismu kana and khabar kana. A sahlatan takunu. And why did we bring this? Because in book two we learned when you're giving two options, right? You have to bring the first option after a and second option after am. Like I cannot say an ta talibun am mudarrisun. Are you a student? I cannot say that or a teacher. I say a mudarrisun anta or a talibun a talibun anta a mudarrisun. That's how a sahlatan takunul asila am saabatun. So while translating, we say we'll we'll go here from a we'll go to this. Will the questions be be we can say will be easy or difficult? Will the questions be easy or difficult? An astatiru an nanjaha bi taqdiri mumtazin amla. Are we able to istatay sitiu from ten? Oh, I removed that verb also. No, I just need to do it like this. Anastatiu an nanjaha. Are we? Will we be able to pass najaha yanjahu with taqdiri mumtazin? Yeah, by great good marks. Istatay sitiu istatayatan. No, able to can. Will we be able to pass with taqdiri mumtaz? Is A grade? Amla or no? بتقدير ممتاز A grade or no اطمئنوا يا إخوانو اطمئنوا يا إخوانو This is a verb called if عن للا إن شاء الله we learn this this is the verb is اطمئنا he brings it in four letters اطمئنا so it's actually if عن للا Right, something like this. We'll see this. Or if alanna, I think if alanna. And this is the extra forms: twelve, thirteen, fourteen. These are the forms. Very rare verbs. Itmanna is one of the common ones used in this. You see, so how many letters does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Noon has a tajdida. Six letters. Six letters. Uh, so you added an alif here, and you added a hamza here. And you double the last letter. So what you what it is? If a uh, uh, if a uh, and then what we did? Yeah, this is four. Now right? if a lalla. Oh, this Hamza was not added. This is a root letter. This is root. Letter. So the root letters are four here. Ta, mim, Hamza, and noon. If a lalla. This is how it is. Yeah. This is the root. If a lalla, if a lillu, if ilal. If alalla, this is this is called number eleven, I believe, or twelve. We don't learn this in this book, but this is twelve, I think, or something. 
because this is the root letters of what in this? That is ta, very rare word ta, mim, hamza, and nun. So ma ana. Oh, I don't know it is, but these are the four root letters. Yatma or nun. I don't know the word. So it is how, but we use itma anna very common. Itma innu. So the amr is why the conjugation is same anyways. If alalla, the conjugation is same. Itma anna, itma anna, itma anu, yatma innu. <clears throat> itma anna, yatma innu to be comforted, reassure. Itma anna, right? Be be cool, be be calm. Itma innu ya ikhwan. Itma innu ya ikhwan. Right? Be calm. Oh, be assured. Oh, brothers. سَيَكُونُ الْإِمْتِحَانُ سَهْلًا InshaAllah. The exam will be easy. InshaAllah. سَيَكُونُ الْإِمْتِحَانُ سَهْلًا Again, سَيَكُونُ is khabar, no? Ismu سَيَكُونُ I mean, يَكُونُ And this is the khabar. InshaAllah, if Allah wills. رَاجِعُ الدُّرُوسَ رَاجِعُ This is form 3, no? رَاجَعَ يُرَاجِعُ How do you know it's form 3? Well, you find an alif. Anytime you see an alif, it's generally form three without the ta. There's no ta here, so it's not form six. This is form three. Raji'u three three. Fa'ala you fa'alu. Raja is to return. Raja'a you raji'u. Muraja'a is to revise. Raji'u durusa. Revise the lessons. Wa ta'abanu. Form six again. How do we know it's form six? You see a ta and an alif. Anytime you see a ta and tajdeed. It is form five. Tafa'ala, tadarrasa. If you see ta and an alif, six. Ta'avanu. To help each other. Each other. Again, the meaning is what? Ta'avanu. To help each other. Ta'avan. Ta'avana. Ya ta'avanu. To help. I won't write each other. We can write to help. E-O. To help each other. Wa ta'avanu. And... Cooperate with each other. Like Allah says in the Quran, ta'awanu ala al-birri wa taqwa Cooperate with each other in birr, righteousness and piety. Wala tatakasalu. Wa ta'awanu wala tatakasalu. Why there's two ta? Because this is the anta ta. This is the amr is just with one ta. Because you make ta'awana, ya ta'awana, you chop the ya and make it ta'awan. This is... La tafal, la tadhab. So there should be two ta's. One ta is the anta ta, and this ta is the verb ta. Six form six. Wala tata, and this can be dropped, right? We'll learn later on. We can say wala tatakasalu for takhfif, for easier purpose. Wala tatakasalu. Takasale takasalu. Don't be lazy. Right? This doesn't meet with each other. We can just use for to be lazy. Because how will you be lazy with each other? To be lazy. Takasala ya takasalu. So help each other. Don't worry about the exams. That they are going to be easy, inshallah. Mas'udun. Nahnu khaifuna ya ustadu. We are fearful, O ustad. Khaifuna. The verb is what? Khafa. Ya khafu. Ismul fa'il, right? Khaif. Ismul fa'il. Lesson six, right? Five or six, we learned. This will fire, this will muffle. Why does why does this have a hamza? Remember, anytime there's ajwa verb in the ismul file, you'll get a hamza. Like qala, yaqulu. I want to say the speaker. So literally it should be qawil. Right? There's a wow in between. But that wow will change into qail, the speaker. Like ba yabiru. Now I want to say the seller. Ba'ya will become Ba'ya with a Hamza. Similarly, Khafa, Ya Khafu, I want to make the one who's fearful. Kha, Vif, because this is a wow, no? Khafa, how do we know it's wow? We look at the Mastar, Khauf, Khauf is the Mastar. So this should have been Kha, Vif, right? Fa'il, but no, in Ismul Fa'il, if a wow or Ya comes, we'll change that into a Hamza, Khaif. So it's plural, khaif, khaifuna. This is how we formed, khaif. Are you on live on Zoom? Yes, it's live on Zoom. You can log in with this link. Okay. It's there on the Telegram channel. Inshallah, you can join uh, where I put the links. <clears throat>
اوكي قضي نينو خايفون قضينا السنة كلها we passed the year all of it في اللهوي واللعب لهو is amusement and play قضى يقضي is to pass right to pass we passed the time all of it in lahu qada it also means to decree huh? like allah's qada qada allah kull shay i mean allah decreed everything decreed means has written and he has give taqdeer qadayna sanata we passed it also means to judge by the way qadi same meaning so it could mean passing judging decreeing like qadaytu ah the judge qada al qadi hada the judge passed this ruling so qadayna sanata kullaha we spent spending time yeah qada yaqdi we spent the time all of it fi lahwi wal la'ib in amusement and play the verb of lahu is what laha yalhu lahwan laha yalhu laha yalhu like da'a yad'u wawi naqis wawi and la'ib is just la'iba yal'abu la'ib masdar is la'ib Uh, amusement and play kill time kill time killing time is lahu ya laytana ya la ya laytana jtahadna ya laytana jtahadna tawala al'am kama nashtahidu al'an qubail al'imtihan this is rhyming ya laytana layta is the sister of inna layta Did he bring it this before? I don't think so. Eh? Laita is a sister. Of, oh, how I wish. Laita. Laita means how I wish. Ya laitani kuntu turaba. So you can use ya laitana, ya laitani. Oh yeah, just laita. It's just laita. Um, like laita nujuma qadibatun. <clears throat> laita nujuma. Like would that we can translate that? Would that the stars would be? Qadib. So we can use later for two things. Later can be used for two things. One, one thing which is completely impossible, right? One thing which is completely impossible, and second, it's difficult, not totally impossible, right? It's difficult. Like you can use later ni ganiyun. Would that I become rich? I mean, it's possible, right? It's, but it's difficult right? with my situation that I become rich. Later, ni ganiyun. So this is how later is used and very common in the Quran. Right? Ya later ni, ya later ni mitu kabla hada. Maryam alayhi salam says that when she was uh, having Isa alayhi salam. <clears throat> uh, how I wish would that I would have died. Before this child bear uh, bearing pains, mitu kabla hada wakun tu nasiyam mansiya. So ya leita najta hadna. How would that we have? Would that we would have? Or how we wish that we would have? Worked hard. Tawal is taala yatulu tawal. Throughout the year, we can translate as throughout throughout the year. With that, would would we would have worked hard throughout the year? Kama nashtahidu al-an, like now. Kama nashtahidu al-an, like we are working. Kama is like, right? Nashtahidu al-an, like we are working hard now. Qubail al-imtihani. Before. Qubail qabla. We learned last time in the last class. Qabla means before. But we want to say even less time. Qubail. So that is ismut tasghir from qabla. Diminutive form. Qubail. Qubail means just before. Qubail means just before the exams. Uh, sounds similar to Kada. Which one? Later. <clears throat> Qubail al-imtihani. Just before the imtihan. Hmm? So this is the diminutive of Qabla. Khafa. Khafa. Some students. Kada. Kada. Yeah. Yeah. Kada ya kado, khafa ya khafu. Yes. Or nama ya namo. Same, no? Wa alaikum salam wa tullah. Al-mudarrisuna. Kunu mutafailina. Right? Kunu mutafailina. What is mutafail? This is with a hamza. Tafa'ala yatafa'alu. 
yeah yeah mm, same thing yeah ijtihad na oh this is present tense by the way this is nahnu for uh, mudare this is ijtihad na nahnu for madi ijtihada mm. yastahidu so ijtihada ijtihad na and this is uh, najtahidu yeah najtahidu kama najtahidu al ana qubail al imtihani okay got it now alhamdulillah kunu mutafailina mm, this is the khabar of kana kunu B, this is Amr, no? Amr, kun fayakun, kun, kuna, kunu, plural, kun, kun fayakun. So, kunu, B, kunu means B, kunu mutafailina, that's why it's mansu because it's the khabar, khabar of kunu. Where's the ism of kunu? This is the wow, no? Wow, wow is the ism, and this is the khabar. Like kana, the khabar is mansu. Wala takunu mutasha'imin. And don't be pessimistic. Tasha ama is to become pessimistic. Why is he using all these words? He just wants to teach us. Form six. Tasha ama, pessimistic. And so he's bringing situations where he can use it. Pes- I don't know the spelling. How many s's? Pessimistic. One s here. Walla takunu mutasha imina. And don't be pessimistic. Don't be pessimistic. Mutasha im. So tafaala. Tashaama, tafala, tashaama. Optimistic, pessimist, pe- 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 pessimist, pessimistic. Right? Be, be, don't be pessimistic. La daia lil khauf. Daia, daia means there's no cause. Daia means cause. Dai uh, literally means caller, right? Because this is the ismul file from daia. Duu dai. La daia lil khaufi. There is no caller for fear. That means there's no motive for fear. And why does this have a fatha? Because this is what is called la nafiyatu lil jins. La, oh, I'll just write it in English. La of class negation. Hmm? This is la of class negation, right? I think we spoke about it before, but this is where he brings it. Hmm? Like, if I say uh, la rajulun fil baiti. I mean, you can use, can we use la, but whatever. Hmm? La rajulun fil baiti. There's no man in the house. But I can play a joke here and say, there's no man in the house, bal rajulan, but two men. I can do that. There's no, there's no man in the house, but two men. Hmm? I can do that. I mean, in front of the, if the judge asks me, you said there's no man in the house. Yeah, I mean, there were two men, right? I can, I can go around my statement and play with words. But if I use la rajula fil bayti, you make it mabni. This is mabni, huh? this is not called mansub. Because if you say it's mansub, where's the tanween gone? So you make it mabni. If there's a singular word, there are several rules for this. But if there's a singular word after la nafia lil jins, jins means genus, huh? genus, a class. La rajula fil bayti. If you use, there's no man in the house, that is no man at all. But I cannot backtrack from the statement now. So this is emphatic way of saying, La rajula fil bayt. There is no man at all from the house. La ilaha illallah. You see, there is no God at all, any God which you can think about. Right? Everything is negated except Allah, worthy of worship except Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So similarly, la da'ya lil khawf. So powerful statement. La da'ya. There is no cause at all. Like you add at all for fear. Right? Don't worry at all. I mean, don't worry. We are all there. Inshallah, we'll learn more about it in the exercise. This is called la nafia lil jins. La li nafia lil jins or la nafia lil jins. La nafia tu lil jins. Fa'innakum because you. Fa'inna also like la li anna means because. فَإِنَّكُمْ تُلَّابٌ مُجْتَهِدُونَ Because you are hard-working students. تُلَّابٌ مُجْتَهِدُونَ مَنُوتْنَاتْ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ And praise be to Allah. So he says, don't worry guys. I mean, it's going to be easy. لَا بُدَّ لَا بُدَّ مِنَ الثِّقَةِ لَا بُدَّ See again, بُدُّن means escape. So they use it very common. لَا بُدَّ means there is no escape from ثِقَة. La Buddha min athiqati. Buddhun means escape, running away. Buddhun. I don't know the verb, but la Buddha. Is, there's no escape from thiqa. Thiqa is uh, confidence. Thiqa. Uh, this is used in hadith also. Thiqa. That means he's a, he's a, the narrator who has narrated it. Thiqa is strong, very strong. Thiqa. The chain in the link is very strong. So la Buddha min athiqa. And they use it with all the time with mina, min. Right? When they're speaking, La Buddha mean so and so, La Buddha, La Buddha, La Buddha. That means something is necessary. La Buddha mean thikati. There is no escape from confidence. That means confidence is necessary. Be unfusikim in yourselves. Right? So, La Buddha mean thikati. Be unfusikim in yourselves. So, be confident with yourselves. Right? La Buddha means, and this La again, Buddhun, this is La Nafia Lil Jins. Why didn't you use it before? Because he had to teach us, no? La nafia lil jins. So Buddha is mansu, mabni. We don't say mansu because this is mabni with bil fatha. Or mabni on al fat because this is a law of class negation. La ilaha. You can remember the easiest example. La ilaha illallah. Right? Inshallah, we hope that it is the last statement, right? Of our, from our mouth. La ilaha illallah. La buddha min al thiqati. Does La Buddha means must? Yeah, must. Yeah. Yes, must, should. Yes. And they use it in min. La Buddha means so and so, so and so things. La Buddha means a thikati. I mean, confidence must be there in yourselves or should be there. Ma laka tatatha abu ya ababak. Another verb he wants to teach us, which is this tatha abaya tatha abu, is to. Yawn, tatha aba. To yawn. Malaka, and what is this malaka? That's how they say, yeah? what is with you? Malakum, kaifa tahkumun, in the Quran also. Right? I mean, what's wrong with you? Malak, hmm? malak, tatatha What's wrong with you? Tatatha abu, you're yawning, ya Abu Bakrin. Abu Bakrin says, Another word, bro. Tanawala is to take, consume. Tanawala. All of all the form six, huh? to take, like akhada, same thing, but generally for eating or something. Eating or tanawala ta'am. Tanawala dawa'a. Dawa'an. This is nakira, no? Tanawala dawa'an. After breakfast, it appears that it is munawim. Munawim means it's sleep inducing. We learned in form two, right? Something which induces sleep. So it is sleep inducing. And he wants to teach us this that anna, it's ism of anna and the khabar of anna. This is also called Master Mu'awwal. If you remember, Master Mu'awwal was what? Right, what was Master Mu'awwal? Mu'awwal. Master Mu'awwal was what? An plus fail mudare. An plus fail mudare. Let's put a plus also. What's plus? Plus. Fail Mudara. 
wine okay now we are learning anna plus ism of anna anna and its khabar all these three words can also replace a noun khabar of anna mm -hmm. this is also called mas master muawwal what is master muawwal instead of using one noun we can use an plus fail mudade or anna plus fail it depends on the verb like bada yabdu generally takes anna annahu munawwiman hmm? and that it is um, sleep inducing i mean you, the master which could be used here could be could be uh, de it depends but this is how he wants to teach us that anna plus ismu anna and khabar inna can, anna can also be used as uh, is also called master muawwal and this is something which is advanced I don't think he has an exercise for this, but this is what he wants to explain here. Yabdu annahu munawwiman. This anna plus ismu inna plus khabar inna is also called masam awal. Like, let's see some examples, right? Aajabani. Aajabani. Something pleased me. What pleased me? Khudujuka. You're going pleased me. Now, khuduj is the master of kharaja ya khuduju. I can remove khudujuka. And use Ajabani an and mudare an takhruja. Right, that's it. It's the same meaning. Ajabani khurujuka, Ajabani an takhruja. So you can replace this like in the Quran, an tasumu khairul lakum. That you fast is better for you. Right. So what does an tasumu? That means siyamukum. You can replace it with a master. Siyamukum khairul lakum. Both are similar. Right, antasumu khairul lakum, siyamukum khairul lakum. Okay, so this is the point he wants to bring uh, that anna plus ismu anna and khabar. And this will help us in advanced classes uh, that anna and ismu anna and khabar anna can also be master mu awal. Hmm. Uh, and, and why why do you have to learn that? So you might ask, bada yabdu. Where is the file for bada yabdu? This master mu awal is the file. Why? Because the whole sentence. Is replaced by a noun. Now, I mean, we cannot actually replace it here, but it could be replaced. This is acting as a noun now. So, this noun is a file for Yabdu. Because what appeared, Bada Yabdu is to appear. What appeared? That it is sleep inducing. So, that it is sleep inducing is the file for Yabdu. I mean, just advanced stuff, but this whole thing can be a file. Anna plus ismu, ismu inna, anna plus khabar inna can be a file. <clears throat> All right. I mean, anyways, al mudaris idhab ila go to your class, uh, to your room and take rest. Istawaha yastarihu, istarih. This is from ten. Amra from ten. Istawaha yastarihu. Yakhruju Abu Bakrin. Abu Bakr leaves. Omar says. Ya Ustadu, in the Hadain it Talibaini, yet a Shajarani daiman. Indeed, these two students are Tashajara, is to argue. Tashajara, argue, fight, whatever uh, the meaning to argue or fight. These two students are fighting. So this guy is ratting out, I mean, <laughs> he's complaining to the teacher. Uh, these two students are always arguing and fighting, hmm? That's quarreling, hmm? arguing, quarreling, diamond. Alju an tan sahahauma na sahayan sa is to give advice. Alju, uh, I request that you an tan sahahuma that you advise them both. Alju an tan sahahuma. And mother said, Limat Tasha Jur, Ya Hamidu. Why is the quarreling? See, Mustav Tasha Jara, Yatasha Jaru Tasha Juran is the master of this the form six. Tafaul, no? Mustar, verbal noun. Why is the quarreling? I mean, what's the quarrel about? Ya Hamid. So these guys are fighting, Hamid and Abbas. Inna Abbasun, Yakulu li da iman, Ya Awaru. Indeed, Abbas is saying to me all the time, Ya Awar. Oh, Awar means one-eyed person. Uh, Awar, one-eyed. 
<laughs> so he wants to teach us here awar is one ayat and this is the pattern called uh, i mean colors and defects no it has a similar pattern colors and defects like ahmar yeah ahmar is red right so what is the plural feminine of this is hamra'u hamra'u so afal fa'alaw you told us. yeah now afal and fa'alaw form 9 uh, verb 9 is also used for colors and defects okay we'll learn there also form 9 inshallah very rare form but this is uh, he wants to teach us sing masculine as ahmar feminine already we learned in book 2 hamra'u and the plural is humrun fu'lun pattern both masculine feminine the plural is the same humrun so awar one eyed man awrau one eyed female and urun urun one eyed people a lot of people ur one eyed guys might so the pirates please write or awar awrau awraun ur urun so fu'lun so remember af'al fa'alaw and fu'lun the pattern is what always all the colors and defects af'al fa'ala and fu'l plural khalas this way plural is same for male and female afal fa'ala and fu'l so he'll bring all these things now yeah our so this guy hamid says abbas always calls me oh one-eyed person now abbas says this comes in the Quran, Araj and Awar. I, I don't know about Awar. I know about Araj. So for the battle, the one-handed and one-legged. So this is called lame, one-legged, I think. Yeah. Araj, lame. Araj, Arjau, and Urjun. Urjun. So this is one-legged. Araj. Lame person, lame, lame in the sense, not that lame, one who cannot walk, one leg. <clears throat> Mudari says, La yajuzu hada ya akhawaya. This is not allowed. Jaza yajuzu, this is not permissible. I mean, don't call names to each other. Ya akhawaya, remember akhawaya, we had a lesson for duels. So, how did it become akhawaya? Well, first, akhun, I want to make a duel, akhawani. Then I want to make it because of ya, it's mudaf munafile, no? I want to make it mansub. So akhawani, you make it akhawaini. That's fine. And then I need to add a ya to it because I want to say my two brothers. So ya came, made it a mudaf, so the noon dropped. And ya akhawai plus ya akhawaiya. Hmm? We had a lesson about this. Akhawaiya, how did it form? If it is if it was mafu, it'll be akhawaya. Just akhawaya. My two brothers, Aya Aya, right? If you remember, Aya Aya. So similarly, Akhawaya Akhawaya. Ama sami'atu ma qawlahu ta'ala. Didn't you hear? Ma is negative here. Qawlahu ta'ala, the statement of Allah fi surat al-Fujrat. In the surah of Fujrat. Wala tanabazu bil alqab. Tanabaza, ya tanabazu. Tanabaza, ya tanabazu. To call names. Hmm, to call names. Tanabaza is what? To call names. Tanabaza. So don't call each other names. To call names. I mean, Tanabazu, again, Lakab is also names. So don't call each other with names. Hmm? Just Tanabazu also means this thing. But remember, the star is dropped. He also wants this to show that it was actually Wala Tatanabazu. Two Tas should come because the Nahi is what? La tafal, la tafala, la tafalu, la tafali, la ta, la tafalna. Similarly for this tafala, ya tafalu, la ta tafala. Right? La ta tafal, la ta tafala, la ta tafalu, la ta tafali, la ta tafala, la ta tafalna. Right? You have to should have two ta's, but you can drop for easier. Ta 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 ta. You don't want to say that. So la ta, wala ta na bazu. That means ta ta na bazu. Bil al qab. Last lesson we he taught this rule, right? Like Tanazalul Malaikatu Waruh. 
it it was tatanazzalu because two taas should come so you'll drop one taas easier easier to and the meaning is not corrupted also no i mean if there was one taas two taas doesn't matter here because the meaning is the same tanabaza <clears> yatanabuz <throat> to call names what tanabuz and what is tanabuz huwa an yad'u wa ba'duna ba'dan bi laqab su it is that yad'u this is again masal muawwal no yad'u wa ba'duna ba'dan that some of us call others ba'duna ba'dan means some of us call others bi laqab su by a bad name laqab alqab bad names by titles so this is not allowed like allah said wala tanabazu bil alqab la yanbaghi lil muslimin imbagha yanbaghi from seven from seven uh, we we'll learn later on imbagha yanbaghi it's not appropriate imbagha from seven next lesson will come from seven inshallah la yanbaghi lil muslimin it is not appropriate for muslims an yatanabazu that they give names faqad nahana allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Nahana, naha is the verb, right? And this is the maful on the And Allah who is the fail, lafzul jalala. Allah has prohibited us from it. Faqad shawli tabarak wa ta'ala anhu and wa sammahu fusukhan and called it fusuk. Fusuk means transgression, right? Fusukhan, fasaqa yafsuku. Fusuk, fasaq, bab nasara. Nasara yansuku, fusuk. Very common. Fisq is very common in the Quran. Fusuk, transgression or deviate from the right course, act sinfully. Fusuk and fatuba ilallahi wa staghfirahu. Tuba. And this is not with the taab, this is taab. So the verb is what? Taaba yatubu. And the amr is what? Tub. Like qala yaqulu qul. Taaba yatubu tub. Tubillah. And the plural is what? I mean, dual, right? Here, dual. Tuba. With an alif. So you both repent. Ilallah wa staghfirahu. And again, istaghfir, istaghfira. This is from tense dual amr. Wastaghfirahu. And seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you both do these things. Hamid Wabbas. Well, wow, nice students. Huh? Yeah, let's finish this lesson. Natubi ilallahi wa nastaghfiruhu. We turn to Allah or we repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness. Istaghfira, istaghfiru. Another topic. Which he brings. <laughs> this is what teachers will do. No? Uh, and he wants to use another word also. Who is to shake hands? To shake hands. Hmm? Right, teachers, shake his hand. Go, go and shake. <laughs> After you fight. I, I would love to. What da ya do? What da ya do? This is like Hajja uh, Yahudju, but this is Fataha. Fataha Yafta. Wadda Yavaddu. Not Yavuddu, but Yavaddu. I would love to. Right? I would wish to. Like Uridu. Same like Uridu. Awaddu Antatasafaha. Wood is the meaning. No? Wood is the master of this. <clears throat> wood. Allah uses wood, love, wood. Wood is love. Hubbun. Yani wuddun. Love. Mawadda is also used. Mawadda. The master of this. Mawadda. Like Valentine's Day is coming. Yawmul Wud. Day of love. So just remember. Stakfil. Awaddu anta tasafaha. I would love to that you both shake hands. Yatasafahani. So they both shake hands. Yatasafahani. Hmm. Naam, tasafaha yatasafahu. To shake hands. So Ali says, Alju an tasmahali bil insarafi, fa innani ash'uru bitabin shadidin. Alju, I request that you allow me to go. Insaraf is the master. Insaraf, I insaraf, insaraf, because I'm ash'uru, I'm feeling. Now, why is he bringing this scenario? To show us acting, the meaning of acting. So this guy Ali says, Oh, allow me to go for innani ashuru because I'm feeling tiredness. I'm feeling very tired, severe tired, severe tiredness. Taab is taiba taabu taab master. Taab in shadid. Al mudari says, Iyaka and tatamara da ya ali. We learned Iyaka, no? Tahdir. This is called tahdir. Warning. Iyaka. 
how beware of tathamavada beware of acting to fall sick so tathamavada means acting to fall sick iya ka so and so means beware and tathamavada <clears throat> we learned right iyaka we used with wow before iyaka wal kalba beware of the dog iyaka wal hasada with a wow 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 if you remember last time but if a verb is coming masdal muawwal is coming we can remove the wow that's why he's using it iyaka wa anta tamarad no iyaka anta tamarada so tamarada is to act to fall sick see just a verb yeah they <laughs> mean so somebody thought okay let's make form 6 also for acting but literally to act to fall sick see the meaning is so long but in arabic it's so small short yeah tatamara da khalas tamarud act to fall sick right so they have a verb for it iya kan tatamara da ya ali you beware of falling act beware of acting to fall sick o oh, ali a'udhu billahi min ali sik a'udhu billahi nakuna min alkadhibin I seek refuge from Allah that I be from the liars. <laughs> I think saying no, I cannot be lying. Eh? I mean I'm not that lying. Uh, okay, fine. I mean he's saying Audo Billah and all that. So mother's okay, fine. Idhab wa shafaq Allah. Go, may Allah cure you. Go, get lost. Idhab wa shafaq Allahu. Go now because he didn't say I'm feeling headache or I'm just feeling tired and this that. So he says okay, go shafaq Allah. Masoo says ya ustadu. If you remember last time, also someone said I have a headache or something, and another student said, "Oh, he's acting." Right? Uh, and Mama Adraka, how did you know this thing? And the uh, uh, Navunno, he said, "Avunno, I think." So the teacher said, "Oh, don't do all this. Iya kavadvanna. Right? Don't be suspicious." Now the teacher himself is being suspicious. Now the teacher himself is being suspicious um, no. he said don't don't be suspicious uh, of others and he quoted the verse of quran now teacher himself said oh you are acting guy idhab shafaq allah i go go me allah ke yo let's read this quickly masud ya ustad no shuku an natakharaj aw shaka yushiku is a sister of kana aw shaka So they use master mawal. We are about to. Aushaka means to something about, and it has an an after it. Aushaka. <clears throat> it has an of an after it. Uh, so nu shiku means we are about to graduate. Takharraja ya takharraju is to graduate. Nuri duan natal form five. Nuri duan natal lama tadi katal bahti and kalimati fil majam. We want to learn the way of finding a word in the dictionary. right because they have they are about to graduate they are not able to search a dictionary because you have to know the root letters identify them so it's difficult right so they are like okay we want to learn this hmm mudar says inna hadhihi la fikratun jayida and this is a good idea so adau fi maktabi mu'jaman i will put in my uh, maktab in my office on my table a dictionary wa sayakunu fi mutanawali aydikum inshallah it will be mutanawali aydikum So this is uh, he wanted to use this mutanawal is the same as uh, ismu zaman or makan mutanawali hmm? aidikum in the place of your hands inshallah i mean it's the place i mean it'll be mutanawali aidikum means it'll be accessible to you kind of mutanawali huh? aidikum <clears throat> so this is the tanawali tanawalu to take and mutanawal is the ismu makan Mm, so in, it will be in a place which is accessible to you mutanawali aidikum inshallah taala all right with fikra what is islam lamul muzhalaqa no skating lam yep yeah he used that also no he used all those things hidden hidden things he used so that we, so that we should be able to identify of previous lesson yeah we just studied today hmm okay let's see the answers for the questions okay amma yatasa'alu at-tulab what are the what were the students speaking about yatasa'aluna 'anil imtihan asking each other about they were asking about the exams hmm. limada tasa'aba abu bakr 
why why was Abu Bakr yawning? Abu Bakr yawned because he was he had a tablet of medicine which was sleep inducing after the breakfast. Mada Yaqulu Abbasun li Hamidin wa Mada Yaqulu Hamidun li Abbas. What did Abbas say to Hamid and what did Hamid say to Abbas? <laughs> they called each other names, huh? Awad and Awaj. Ya Awad and Ya Awaj. Yaqulu Abbasun li Hamidin. Ya Awad, a oh, one eyed guy. Wa Yaqulu Hamidun li Abbas. Ya Awaj, a oh, lame person. Matanabuz. Mada Samahullahu. Fi Ayi Ayatin Nahanallah. Nahanallah. What is Tanabuz? Tanabuz is putting names, huh? When one of us, some of us call the others by a bad name. Right? It is bad things. Don't call nicknames, bad nicknames. What is the idea of fikra? Talaba is the plural of tullaba, a talib. Uh, so they wanted to learn how to search a word in the dictionary. The teacher accepted his idea. He said, This is a very good idea. So we have to do from inshallah the second one, inshallah ta'ala, in our next class. Barakallahu fikum, jazakallahu khayran. Inshallah, see you next class where we learn. From six, we learn about badal. And what else did we learn about? Four types of badal and other things. Huh? Inshallah, iyaka. Now it can be used with master mu'awwal. Hmm? Inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu fikum. Jazakallahu khairin. Subhanakallahumma. Wa bihamdik. Ashadun la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka. Tu bilaik. Assalamu